Hello, oh, oh, and welcome everybody to Hell and High Tales, the edgiest and gayest podcast on the interwebs, just slowly, anally fisting our way into your fleshy hearts. I am the flashy J.W. Evans from the heavens, and I am joined by Willie D. Will! Dude! Hello! You had some shit you wanted to talk about. Lay it down on us. Yeah, so today we're opening up a podcast with a message from me. Fuck school! (laughs) (laughs) But no, in all, in all seriousness, there's a lot of important stuff that you learn to do in school and a lot of stuff that you that you genuinely will use in your day-to-day life. There's also a lot of shit that you will never fucking use in your day-to-day life unless you go into a very specific field, into a very specific job. One of these things that you'll probably never need to fucking use, algebra. Fuck algebra. I mean, it depends on, like, the variant of algebra. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, because, like, (laughs) if we're talking, like, the most basic fucking shit that you learn in week one of algebra, most of that is just deconstructed versions of actual real problems we solve. You just don't need to make the math equations most of the time in real life (laughs) to figure them out. Yeah. But there's a lot of shit, like... I don't need to know much about parabolas in fucking my field. So that shit that was not relevant for me to learn, but that shit that would be relevant for an architect, which I am not. <laughs> but you had like think... a specific story you wanted to get into. Yeah, just, uh, before I tell that story, I just want to say, I think the main problem that I have with algebra is <laughs> because when they teach you algebra, they lump so much random fucking shit together. It just gets really overwhelming. But so the story I wanted to start, I wanted to tell, was about a algebra teacher I had in my um, I forget if it was my junior or senior year. Um, she was an okay teacher, like she was a nice person. But what really pissed me off a lot of the time is that she taught us. We you know we were fucking you know almost adults. And she taught us like we were children. Ugh, gross. She had fucking, like, it was like I was in elementary school again. She fucking had, like, these little things on the wall for, the, like, like they were fucking designed for, you know, fucking 12-year-olds. <clears throat> there were, like, little acti- weird, funny activities we would do to learn new uh, methods of al- of different parts of algebra. There was one thing that was the fucking tipping point for me that I actually kind of got a little bitchy at her for, and I ended up getting fucking sent to the office for it. Um, because there, she gave us a project that ended up, was actually going to be a pretty hefty fucking bit of our grade. Like, it actually dropped me down almost to fucking full letter grade because of it. Jeez. Where you had to solve these equations... You would, you would take this piece of paper with different equations on it, you would cut them out, and you had to solve them. And then once you had them all solved, you had to put them together in a little uh, puzzle. And I had them all solved, and I was running a bit behind, so I finished it literally the day it was due. And I went to turn it in, <laughs> and she gave me a zero because I didn't put the puzzle together. Ah. Did all the equations and found out I had most of them right. Didn't care. Yeah, see, there, school has a weird emphasis on <coughs> following directions means more than actually knowing what you're talking about. And that is a really fucking weird way to teach people things. And that tells you right there that the point of school isn't to actually make you knowledgeable on subjects. It's to test how obedient you are and how good you are at following directions. Like, schools aren't really making people proficient in different things. Schools are testing your ability to regurgitate information, follow directions, and to not attract attention. That if you look at any of the fucking assignments they have you do in schools and the format and the way it is, that's clearly what they are going for. 
Uh, it's definitely not going for actually just trying to get students to understand any of these subjects well enough to where they could actually have a conversation about it. Because even fucking, you could go and talk to people in high school that are getting A's on papers, they still might not even know that shit well enough to actually, like, extrapolate any information from it. Like, man, you got a fucking A on this history test. Want to have a conversation about, you know, these different things from history and they can't fucking say shit about it because the only thought they put into it was what answers they need to memorize for a test. So their actual ability to gain information from what they learned is zero. You know, they're not, they're gaining the ability to just put this shit on a piece of paper later. They're not gaining the ability to use critical thinking to try to gain information from the past in this history test. And I don't think that's the goal either. Well, the reason because of that, the reason for that is because our education system has relatively stayed the same for the past, like, 70 years. So the reason that our fucking education system sucks so much and it's like that is because you're absolutely right. It's, It's not designed to teach us things. It's designed to be to make us obedient because it's designed to churn out factory workers. Because we have the same style of education system today that we did back in like the 1940s where we needed factory workers at at a large scale. Now all those jobs are fucking dead. (laughs) And the ones that lie to you about giving you more hours than they will. Yeah. Um, I, I just want to point out you're coughing so much, like you just like fucking smoked like 40 joints before this, but I know <laughs> you're just still sick from the last episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm just still coming down from a nasty cold. I so smoke two joints in the morning, I smoke two joints at night, I smoke two joints before I smoke two joints, and then I smoke two more. <laughs> I was gonna record a podcast, but then I got high. <laughs> Cause we're so high <laughs> Never going back down <laughs> Oh god yeah, just, just reference to... every fucking pot song In the next five minutes that we can think of <laughs> God Yeah just to wrap up the little fucking G- uh, Algebra story is Basically there is absolutely no reason that you should need colored pencils in a in a high school algebra two class. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But fucking speaking of pot, it was that a concert? Uh, I want to talk about not really much about the concert because a lot of the shit that happened at the concerts, like usual fucking concert shit. You know, it's like, yeah, there was a fucking bash pit, and there was fucking bands and shit, and this fucking dude came out, and he fucking sang a song he was fucking famous for. You know, so it's like, yeah, it's not fucking interesting. But I went to the Mary Twizdmas concert, which was a Christmas concert put on by Twisted. And other people part of Magic Ninja Records and, uh, sorry, I think it's Magic Ninja Entertainment. And then other random fucks that are somehow related to, like, juggalo rap culture in some way. Oh god. Yeah, uh, (laughs) uh, for context on who Twisted is, Twisted is a band, well, they're not, a rap duo that's primarily (laughs) known Because they're friends with ICP, and ICP, like, is the one that, like, hype... They they were, like, the first big pet project of ICP when ICP made the record label, basically. And, uh, eventually, Twisted kinda had a little bit of a falling out with the Insane Clown Posse, and they left, and they made their own record label, and then Blaze Ya Dead Homie... (laughs) Uh, he also left, and then, uh, other, uh, basically a whole bunch of people that worked for ICP left and went with Twisted. Uh, and, uh, so, they're still considered a part of the community, it's weird. But, basically, 
They're similar to ICP, except instead of rapping about clowns and shit, they rap about marijuana, comic books, and depression. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> so they're just edgy teens. Yeah, uh, they also, yeah, then they ra- have albums about murder and shit. So it's like, yeah, edgy teen shit, you know? Uh, which is They're just I a bunch of edgy fucking high schoolers that went and created their own rap band. Basically. And it's it's literally like yeah. Uh uh and also like Fuck, I forgot to say, god damn it, maybe I'm the one that's fucking high going into this. God damn it. <laughs> I wish god I was it, high going into ah. this. But uh, I mean it is hell and high tales. But in... <laughs> high tales, haha, <laughs> start Joe Camarilla, get fucked. <laughs> he specifically told me to never make that pun again. Fucking made it. <laughs> Fucking made it, bitch. <laughs> Get ready. Uh, but, uh, fucking... Like, we go there. We get fucking, you know, we get baked because it's twisted. Like, even if you don't get high going into a twisted concert, you will leave high because there's gonna be fucking pot everywhere. And the fucking time, the fucking bands that were there were, like, ragging on people for being for fucking high. Because it's, like, an easy joke to make. Like, fuck yeah, we'll put Twisted Cat up there. He's like, you guys smell like fucking weed in here. What are you even doing? <laughs> Imagine if the police came and raided the fucking concert. Bitch, it's fucking legal here, <laughs> bitch. Oh, it is? Fuck. <laughs> we got this shit legal. Yeah, I'm really going to make it legal in Minnesota. Oh, uh, who knows? Uh, I'm not a lawbreaker, thank you. <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm just a fucking degenerate, aren't I? <laughs> uh, you have to be a daddy on this podcast, to be fair. True. Uh, you have to be a degenerate to be friends with me, to be fair. <laughs> Otherwise, you would Are you calling your fiancé a degenerate? I think she has a huge interest in degenerate things. <laughs> I <laughs> <Nice> save. <laughs> I just think we were playing Sonic Adventure on the same YouTube channel and she went on a fucking rant about bad dragon dildos. So like <laughs> She's a furry. You have to be a degenerate to be a furry. Yeah, yeah, that's not true. Furry shit is like pretty high on the degeneracy tier. Is top tier degenerate. Yeah, and we also read like fucking smut comments and shit, so yeah. This is degenerate in there. That's also fair. I forgot about that episode. Yeah, I'll never forget that episode. You fucking lettuce, but uh, <laughs> you fucking lettuce will. Fuck you. But you know, Super Bake the concert, a lot of fun. But what was funnier is like we went in there. You know, we were high, but then we were out of pot. So it's like you know we're fucking slowly like sobering <clears> up during <throat> there and. You know, it was an experience for me, because it's like, I haven't smoked in, like, a year. Because, you know, uh, I don't drink, I don't smoke tobacco cigarettes, I don't do meth or cocaine, but because, you know, I had fucking drug dealers and fucking child beaters for parents, and that scared me for most of that shit, and it left me, uh, as a human being that could very easily get addicted to most things, a very addictive personality, and I'm aware of that, so I'm careful about that shit, uh. As I mentioned in the last podcast, the period where I did drink a little bit. Uh, okay, I drank a lot on, like, I still six... remember the time you pressured me to give, into stealing a bottle of wine for you. I well, did... stealing air quotes, giving you a bottle of wine that was in my house. <laughs> that was for tap, thank you. That wasn't for me. You that drank some, tap. too. Did I? Yeah. I don't remember that. Remember I, I thought... fucking... I grabbed it. <laughs> we, went, we all I went over to your. <laughs> <laughs> we all went over to your place, and the two of you just fucking drank it. Oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> fuck, bro. You fucking alcoholic. I was influenced. Like, fuck. But I didn't anyway. drink any because so... I was a good Christian boy, and I hate you. <laughs> You're a good Christian boy <laughs> until I fucked it out of your ass. <laughs> what do you mean? It was too much of a little bitch to take it, remember? It was in there for one fucking thrust before you said no. It went It wasn't in. even thrust, it was the head. <laughs> the head's all you need to kill the Christian, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I take it balls deep like a real man. 
Uh, you gotta get, no, if you go balls deep, you're a full-on Satanist. Uh, the head's just enough to be a different religion. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, but anyway, drink, there's one fucking, okay. There's a period where I had apparently more times than I thought, or I got fucking drunk. Before, like, okay, yeah, I just, you know, not gonna do this shit. Because, you know, I don't want it to be a problem, you know, and fucking stopped it. Don't drink anymore, and don't friends to steal wine for me, which apparently I was a part of at one point. Apparently, I helped influence somebody to commit a crime and forgot about well, it. Well, no, it wasn't necessarily a crime. It was a bottle of wine that my mom had got or something, and that on top of a china cabinet for literally a year and a half. <laughs> and I like mentioned something about it, and you're like, "Oh, oh you should dude! totally just like grab that for me and tap to drink." Dude, I remember just, like, that now. I'm like, "I don't know." My mom would be like really pissed about it. He's like, "Ah, she, you said it's been there for how long? It'll be fine." I was like, "Ah, I don't know." You're like, "Just, dude, don't be a little bitch. Just fucking take mine." I'm like, "Fine." <laughs> oh God, dude, fuck. Oh, maybe I'm not a good. Maybe I'm not a the fucking sweet boy over here. Holy shit, fuck. Anyway, <laughs> god damn, <laughs> but I fucking, you know, I, I still, you know, fucking partook, uh, and, you know, I still smoked weed because, like, yeah, that's not, like, super, that, that's not what I was worried about getting addicted or having, like, a problem with, as opposed to, like, shit like, you know, tobacco, cigarettes, or fucking alcohol or anything else, you know, uh, so... I fucking, you know, died for a bit. But at one point, you know, I quit for a year, right? Because, like, you know, I was a good old time. You know, when I fucking... Okay, there's a couple times where I fucking quit for an extended period of time. Each time, I think, it was, like, a year or two. Uh, I'd quit for, like, a while because the day after, I would get hell high. I would be, like, really depressed about it because it would make me think my friend would relate, you know, the drug shit to a fucking woman beating me in my childhood. You know, fucking made for a bad next day. So, fucking... You know, I'm sitting here, and I'm like, you know, tw I know the Twisted concert's coming up, and I'm like, you know, it's been a year since, like, the last time I smoked and got, like, really sad. I've done a lot of growing as a human being since then. I've got a lot of memories back from my childhood of fucked up shit that I used to have, like, hidden, you know, in my head, and I've confronted that shit, I've dealt with it, I've grown more because of it, you know, so I think maybe... I might be ready to be able to do that shit and not, like, fucking get depressed the next day. So, you know, I was fucking slaying my demons with fucking <laughs> joint sword, uh, I guess. Yeah, pulled up your big boy pants and said, fuck it. Yeah, and I fucking, you know, so we got fucking blazed before we went to see Blaze. Uh, we went there, you know, sobered up a bit by the end of it. We're fucking leaving. Show goes on crazy fucking late. Uh, we're, you know, we're, we're about to fucking go home. Uh, they fucking, now it's like, they're busting out this fucking giant cartoony sized bull. Cause now it's like, okay, we're back from the concert. We were all pissed cause we didn't bring enough weed. So now we got a fucking crazy fucking thing. But all the dudes with me, these guys are fucking like professional fucking stoners. These are like dudes that are like fucking... These dudes are like, yeah, their fucking tolerance is like a fucking thick armor. These fucking dudes are high, like, every day. I am a guy that hasn't smoked in a fucking year. <laughs> so they're Meanwhile, acting... I just have a high tolerance because I'm fat. <laughs> a fucking <coughs> scrawny 130-pound dude that hasn't smoked in These fuckers are packing this huge-ass, cartoony-ass, Willy Wonk-ass-ass ass fucking bull, and they're looking at it like, yeah, this is gonna be normal for them. I'm looking at it like, I'm fucking ready. <laughs> I fucking... Because, like... It's all, like, a little different because I, like, sobered up from being high earlier. But, you know, we all pass it around. You know, I'm fucking ditzy. You know, but it doesn't fully fucking hit me until, ta it's, you know, fucking Tab's driving me home. The fucking, like, hour ride home. It was a fucking lazy spear, dude. This motherfucking ride home, okay? I'm sitting here. Fucking, this album is playing. But I am not experiencing time normally in the slightest. I am so fucking gone that oh a single minute, I thought it was an entire hour. 
<laughs> Jesus. But there's an album playing. <laughs> so that means every song playing, I think, is just on repeat for fucking hours. <laughs> Fucking that song. I'm fucking sitting there in hell because I'm like, why the fuck is the song Mutant X playing just the same verse over and over again for half an hour? And I look at the clock, it hasn't moved, and I'm like, holy shit, what the fuck? And then <clears throat> the mo- the room, it's not even a room, you know, I'm in a car, but... My entire perception of the size of the room, my distance from different objects, and my position in the car keeps fluctuating. So I'm like freaking the fuck out because I'm like, what the fuck? I'm in the same place, but I thought it was different. Uh, wait, dude, dude. I just remembered this shit. I forgot about this. Dude. I fucking, what? We're driving, right? It's like dark as shit. It's pitch and black. I'm like, fuck, like, for, feels like an eternity. It's like weird. I'm like, we're, how are we fucking getting around? It's fucking pitch black. All of a sudden, I get fucking shined in a sea of fucking lights from buildings. And I'm like, holy shit, it, when did it get so bright? Taps like, just smiling, not saying <laughs> shit. And I'm like, wait. I fucking had my eyes closed for I don't know how long I thought they were open. I was just so fucking high. I was looking through closed eyelids thinking it was just that dark out. <laughs> oh, did I ever tell you about my first experience with edibles? No, dude, tell me. So, okay. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so me and my friend or sorry, my roommate, actually, at the time, not the one that I'm with now, but a different roommate, we decided to make a can of butter. And uh, so we wanted to make Rice Krispie bars with can of butter. However, when he was baking the weed for it, he dyslexia <laughs> on the temperature that you're supposed to oh, fuck. bake it. And so we kind of overcooked it. It was like a kind of like a brownish color we thought we burnt it but we thought well fuck it this is like 70 bucks worth of weed so we had to yeah, at least try it waste that shit. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so um we used it and we made the rice krispie bars and <clears throat> we could feel like a little bit of a high from it or like it's not really that great it just they just taste kind of funny because of the weed butter so you're like well fuck it didn't work Still, though, we kept the weed butter. So, two days later, after it, I guess, would say fermented a bit. Or not fermented. Fermented isn't the right word, but aged a little bit. I decided to make some mac and cheese (laughs) with a can of butter. With two stable, with stable, tablespoons of undiluted can of butter. (laughs) I was in a strange place. <laughs> I was like, I was just eating my mac and cheese. I finished the bowl about a half hour later. I'm just oh, like, oh God. Oh dear God. <laughs> I just look up. And I'm like, Chris. He just comes out of his room I'm like, what? I'm just like, the butter works. <laughs> The water works well. And it felt really good for about 20 minutes. And then I went and threw up all of that mac and cheese that I had just ate. Oh, God. <laughs> and then I went and sat in my chair for another half hour, just slowly rocking back and forth. Dude, I just... was fucking, like, <laughs> one puff away from fucking vomiting. I, like, was exactly at the edge of, if I did any more, I would have been sick. <laughs> I was exactly the maximum amount of fucking fucking weed I could fucking smoke without, like, going over the edge. And I was fucking... And I could tell, too, because I was, like, exhaling aggressively. Because I felt like there was additional air shooting out of my stomach trying to escape my mouth. <laughs> and I felt like there was balloons of air bubbles. Like, it's like a big air bubble trying to push away free. And I'm like... This would, I was sitting there, I'm like, dude, this feeling I got right now, this would just be me puking right now if I would have smoked anything more. I'm fucking positive. But it was oh, like God. a elbow because 
the fucking every minute was like a fucking half hour, dude. It was like time was moving so absurdly slow. Like, I was talking to Tap. I said, like, a fucking thing about this fucking wrestling manager, this old-school wrestling manager, Jim Cornette and shit, and I fucking segued it into a joke about fucking this old wrestler named Conan that I like a lot. I fucking, I said Conan, and I was like, speaking of Conan, and then we're laughing, right? Because it's like, I said speaking of Conan a whole bunch of times earlier, so it's like a running gag now, and I'm like, wait. Uh And I'm like... What a Conan? And Tap's like, <clears throat> I don't know. And I'm just like, what have I said for the last hour? And I look at the clock, and we haven't even been driving an hour. We're driving ten minutes. I forgot every, <clears throat> sing- I forgot every single solitary word I said since we sat in the vehicle. I'm looking at Tap, and I'm like, I don't remember a single word I've said while I've been in the car before the word Conan. What have I oh, been God. talking about? <laughs> And I'm, like, freaking out. I'm, like... And then all of a sudden it gets worse. I'm sitting there and I'm, like, dude. Because I said, when we first got in the car to go to the concert, I said, speaking of Conan. And I'm freaking the fuck out because I say, speaking of Conan again. And I'm, like, bruh. I feel Man. like when I said, speaking of Conan just now, the last thing I said before that was speaking about Conan when we were driving to the concert. What the fuck happened, oh, dude? <laughs> I felt like I fucking time traveled, man. <laughs> and then it's like, I look at the clock, and it's like, I haven't even been in here for half an hour yet, dude. <laughs> and I thought I was talking Jeez, to you man. for so long. <laughs> it just, no, at one point, it's fucking playing, uh, the tap's like, oh boy, time is going that slow for you, and you feel like songs are playing for hours. This next song's gonna be a hell for you. And all of a sudden, people, the fucking Twisted cover of People Are Strange starts playing, and that's a very repetitive, slow song. And I'm like, fuck! And I'm like, wait. I'm like, fuck! And I'm like, wait. Are we listening to a freak show? And Tap's like, yeah, we've been listening to the album Freak Show since you got in the car. And I was like, when the fuck have we been listening to Freak Show? And I'm like, what did you think we were listening to? And I'm like, I don't remember. <laughs> and I would have loved to see how you would have fucking reacted. <clears throat> um, someone made a shit post of the of the song uh, Puppet Master by uh, Metallica, where every Master time they Puppets. say... Oh, yeah, sorry, Master of Puppets. Master every of time they Puppets say the rings. word, yeah. Every time they say the word fat, it's either master. No, every yeah. Every time they say the word master, the song gets faster. Oh no! Oh, what it's either mas- slower or worse. It was either master or faster, whichever one they say more. They say master way fucking more. Okay, so yeah, it was every time they say the word master, song speed up. <laughs> oh god, that suck. By the end of it, it's fucking. It's so it, you can't even fucking recognize it by the last minute, you know. So you know, like the the when it gets to the guitar solo, like they're really like really slow. <laughs> by the time it gets to that, is <laughs> dude, fucking. It's the end ridiculous. of the car ride. When I step out of the car, I'm like, I'm an old man now. I have lived for many years. No, I legit I have seen felt, nothing. No, I legit felt like I fucking aged years in that car. When I was stepping out, I was like, fucking, like, I was just fucking rescued from a fucking cell. Where I was locked up for fucking decades, and I'm like, I, I was like, I wasn't even looking at time, I was just staring out the window, I'm just like, I'm a grizzled young vet now. I'm an old man's hap. I'm old now. <laughs> and then I like, Where's my veteran stop. discount? <clears throat> what was that? Where's my veteran's discount? Uh, <laughs> No, I was fucking, <clears throat> even now, even like being fucking presumably sober now, I'm just like sitting here, I'm just like, fuck dude, I feel like it has been a long time since yesterday. <laughs> like, fuck dude. It's been I, a while. 
It's been so long since I woke up yesterday, dude. I feel like I'm a fucking couple years older. I feel like I'm a changed man. I fucking went in with a fucking sword. I fought my fucking demons. I fucking fought the demonic image of my mother and my brain. And I fucking aged years in a car. I fucking sat... While getting shoved by a dude with his butt hanging out with a big old white beard that was running around fucking throwing people. I was getting thrown by that dude while a fucking dude that was a green gorilla in a Santa costume came out with a fucking bag. Started pulling out like fucking heads and arms out of it and then started chucking Christmas presents. And then pulled out a big fat joint and sat down. <laughs> it was a fucking night. Jesus. Oh, God. It was cool, though, because by the end of it, when Twisted was out, they had Blazy Dead Homie. They had, like, all dudes they were friends with. They had, like, all the stage hands. They had a whole bunch of dudes dressed as Santa come out, and they were all fucking high, and they fucking sang the song so high together. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> they just came out like, God damn, you guys stink. You fucking <laughs> bunch of potheads in here. What the fuck you guys doing, bruh? <laughs> <laughs> well, then they just like break out like 50 joints there was a lot of cringy ass fucking rappers though gang of the show that really sucked so there was a bit there where I'm like I'm not high enough to like you dude fuck off it sucked too cause the fucking first few guys that really sucked I mean okay there was one dude that was fine the first dude was fine but he was cringy as fuck, okay? Cause, and then the second dude sucked and were cringy as fuck. Because they were, like, trying to get so much crowd participation in their songs. And it was really forced. And they were trying so hard with it. It's like they thought the fucking Dwayne The Rock Johnson going out there. They were fucking saying shit and pointing out the mic. Every two seconds, like, the whole crowd would be into it. And it's like, nobody knows who the fuck you are, broski. Your name wasn't even on the fucking poster. And you think we're gonna fucking yell your name back? Bruh. You're in a room full of stoners and you told us your name five minutes ago. <laughs> you think we're gonna remember that shit? <laughs> like, no, this fucking dude... <laughs> came out and he's like ah hey see this is my side right here i want you guys to hold it up hold your arms up when you want me to keep doing that shit like one person does it like every song this motherfucker did he was like yeah and then he'd fucking point the mic out for our song and he's like yeah he's like say this you say this and it's like no one fucking wanted it and he's like man you guys sleeping in here like leave me i'm sitting there and literally Bruh. all that is going through my mind is I'm fucking high right now, dude. Leave me alone. I just want to sit. I just want to stand. And fucking be. I don't want you to make me do shit, dude. <laughs> and it's I like, am too high to be following commands. I was. I actually was. And then it's like the next dudes. Okay. The first guy, it's like, okay, you're cringy, but you're actually not bad. The fucking next dudes. Imagine the cringiest, like, wannabe ICP ripoff dudes ever, okay? I mean, I'll say wannabe twisted, because it's a twisted concert, and one of them had hair that was similar to, like, old fucking monoxide hair. But fucking... These fuckers were trying so hard to be fucking... You know, they're, they're like, yeah, we're, they're just fucking these cringy juggalo dudes that are trying so fucking hard to be twisted. They're trying so fucking hard to be the next fucking ICP. It was fucking awful. Like, and every, they're trying to get the crowd to participate so fucking much. And every single time, they, not only would it not work. But they would double down. They're like, oh, come on. Y'all sleeping in here? Come on. I need you to make some noise. And they yeah, point it out. Yeah. No one would say shit. And they're like, come on. We need to get crazy. And they point it out. And people would just be like, huh? It's like, shut up. Just like, play fuck, fucking dude. music. You're not even that good. Fuck off. <laughs> no. And then after he fucking... <laughs> After he fucking finished, he tried to bum weed off dudes in the crowd. Then he's like, hey, by the way, I, sp we sp I spent all our money getting here from New York, and we're trying to sell copies of our album so we could get home, so if you could 
give me 10 bucks for CD. And it's like, he was going around the whole night asking dudes and telling that same sob story. And it's like, fuck, dude. You are like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Just leave me alone, man. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's so fucking try hard. And then there was these fucking redneck dudes that came out and were trying to do fucking redneck fucking rap and doing the songs called like Redneck Zombie and shit. It was so cringe. And they'd be like, Redneck Zombie, and they'd point the mic out. And they're just like, come on, come on, guys. And then you'd do another zombie pose and say it. And then point the mic out and no one would say it because it's cringy as shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, no shit. Your name's not on the fucking poster and we don't know you, so we're already not into your shit. And you're fucking coming out here, okay? Fucking, you're ex already dividing the fan base in the room, right? Because ICP, one of their fucking first songs, I mean, it was on their fucking... The original version was on the second album, then it had a remix on the third album. Of a fucking song called Chicken Hunt, which is about murdering rednecks, because they don't like rednecks. So no fucking shit. There's a large portion of the audience that's not super into fucking rednecks. No fucking shit. Like, uh, there's a weird portion of the audience that's into that shit. <clears throat> but realize the guys that fucking, you know, started this fucking weird group of fans in the first place. That song's about killing rednecks, so that's inherently going to divide the audience a little bit. A little bit. There's going to be people not into that. And you're also, you suck. Your song isn't good, it's shit. And you're cringy as fuck. Uh, <laughs> you don't got talent, you don't look like you should be on a stage, you're annoying as shit, you're too try-hard, you're not original, and it's fucking a day later and I don't even remember your fucking name. <laughs> and it's not from lack of you plugging your shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, that dude sucked. Uh, there was a bunch of dudes like that. Uh, but then fucking actual, like... You know, then uh, fucking AXE came out there good. Fucking ROC came out. He's the fucking shit. He's good no matter what kind of rap you're into. He's fucking good. You know, Blazy Dead Homie was fucking killing it. So, you know, then it was good. But, goddamn. Those motherfuckers at the beginning. And it sucked because those were the fuckers I had to listen to when I was, like, really fucking high. And by the time the good shit came out, I was fucking sober. So it's like... I was mostly uh. sober. So it's like, man... You know, like, I, I don't know if that's better or worse. Like, I, I wish I was just high the whole I time. I feel like, but... I don't know. I feel like you might have hated the bad shit even more true, if you had to deal true. with it I sober. But also, <laughs> I, it was, I don't know, because I have more aversion to people asking me to do shit if I'm fucking, you know, I was fucking too high to be, to want to do fucking crowd commands. So, like, that made it more annoying. But you're probably right, though. I probably would have hated it more. Because <laughs> then I'd be less amused by, like, lights moving. What the fuck? Uh, let me peek the time. We are at 39 minutes. We got five minutes left. Uh, Want to talk about fucking the Mandalorian? <laughs> I, sure. Fucking plug the Mandalorian for five minutes, Will. Mandalorian is a fantastic show. I found out the reason I've enjoyed it so much <clears throat> is because it's created and directed by someone who... I, I can't remember the name of the guy. I feel really fucking shitty for it. But the guy who created and directed it directed a lot of the Avengers movies, one of which being Endgame. <clears throat> and he also created and directed... Um, the Star Wars The Clone Wars animated series, which is one of my favorite shows of all time. I think his name is John Favreau. Ah, oh, dude. Uh fucking what I've been watching. Uh when I got when fucking when I uh fuck I got into my apartment <laughs> God damn, English, bruh. When I got into my apartment uh last night, I was fucking, you know, not alright. But for whatever reason, I'm like you know, I turn on uh, a match, because I'm like, I'm gonna watch some Lucha Libre. I turn on this retro stream of fucking old AAA Lucha Libre matches. Like, don't get into it, you know? It, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna fucking turn on a fucking classic. So I turn on Teddy Hart versus Jack Evans. You know, I don't know what happened in that match. I react. I remember reacting a lot to a lot of stuff that happened, but I don't know a single fucking thing I was reacting to. 
<laughs> I know there was a lot of flips. Some shit happened. Teddy Hart won. You know, so I'm like, okay, I can't even process what's happening in this. Clearly. Because I watched a half hour match and I didn't even realize I watched. I don't even know what happened. So I got to watch something. But for whatever reason, at that moment, once I thought that, the only solitary thing I wanted to watch was regular show. And every fucking other <laughs> thing I could think of that would be easier to watch, I'm like, no, I just want to watch regular show. I don't want to watch fucking more Lucha Libre. I don't want to watch fucking Demon Slayer. I want to watch regular show. Where's Rigby? I'm like a mess in my beanbag, right? And I'm like... I can't go on to watchcartoonsonline.com because there's, like, pop-up ads and, like, I'm too high to exit out of a pop-up ad and get back into the video, dude. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't watch a regular show because if I go on to some bootleg site, it will be too complicated. <laughs> I'm too high. So, what I convince myself to do is I go onto my Nintendo Switch and I set up a, because it has a Hulu app, and I set up an entire free month trial of Hulu. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> While high as fuck, which was tarred. And no, I'm doing this because I'm trying to save work, but I'm filling out a whole fucking sheet, right? And it's like, just, <laughs> I fucking get all this shit filled out. And I fucking turn it on, and then I just fucking slump in my chair, and fucking sit there for, and just watch the entire, like, first season of regular show. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm doing is just looking at it like, yeah, this fucking, <laughs> this is shit right here. I'm not even, like, laughing a whole lot. Like, I'm laughing right, but I'm not laughing an unusual amount. Like, you think when I'm talking, like, I'm high watching a show, I'm fucking hysterical, right? But I'm, like, yeah. laughing, like, oh, like, you know, once an episode. I'm fucking sitting there, like, looking at this. I'm not looking at it like, ah, oh, dude, this is so fucking funny. I'm looking at this like, yeah. This is the shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, like, looking at it, nodding, like, yeah, this is the shit right here. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> just sitting there, like, in awe of fucking <laughs> regular show. Like, I'm fucking appreciating the Mona Lisa or some shit. <laughs> uh, fucking poor Benson, dude. He puts up a lot of shit he shouldn't have to. Uh, goddamn. Poor fucking Benson, man. Poor fucking dude. Dude, fucking Benson's like a sociopath because this is one fucking scene. Right? They fucking make him blueberry pancakes. This motherfucker grabs this fucking fat stack of pancakes. He just stabs it and just eats a whole pancake, no butter, no syrup at one bite. And I'm just looking at this What dude, the like, fuck? Like, yeah. Like, what a heathen. It, d dude, <laughs> one, you ate a whole pancake in one bite, but you didn't put syrup or anything. What the fuck? And he didn't, he kept eating it like that. Like, what the fuck? I don't give a shit about... I remember that scene. I don't give two shits about the eating a pancake in one bite. You know, some people... Oh, shit, it's the end of the episode. Oh, fuck! <laughs>